Hey everybody, we are back on review. It's a day. I got these honey puff cones, these pre-rolled cones, and uh, these are transparent. So without further ado, let's hop right into this review. So I got a bunch of these uh, to check out. The first one we're going to be doing a review on is these mint pre-rolled transparent cones. Now it comes in this little like vial tube, and it's got this plastic little like I guess you'd say like covering on it. It's got the little honey puff guy. It says honey puff. Uh, it's got these little mint leaves on here. It says mint. So let's crack this thing open. Basically, I didn't even need to break the seal. It was so thin of plastic. I just was able to just basically unscrew it off. And then the top here has a little foam insert there to stop the, the cone basically from getting damaged, I imagine. But you got this plastic tube right here. It's a little straw to so your packing tool. And then you got your cones right there. And again, yeah, just a little simple vial. Um, two per pack is what it says on here. Two per tube. And then it's got, what does it say? You, uh, not, not for use or sold for with tobacco, only used with legal smoking herbs. There's that legal smoking herbs nonsense. Designed in the U in the U.S., paper made in Europe, package made in the People's Republic of China. HoneypuffUSA.com. It says this pack this this product is absolutely only to be used with legal non-tobacco smoking herbs such as Tribe Buddha's Blend Bulldog or single herbs such as passionflower. Interesting. So, what a mouthful. Um, brand and design in the U.S., paper made in Europe. Packaging made in People's Republic of China. I highly doubt any of that. I, I honestly think it's all getting made in China. Or the company that's making it in China is just designing this in the U.S. somewhere. Uh, you know, sitting in a, a coffee shop somewhere on Photoshop designing this. That's designed in the U.S. But again, we're back with more nonsense papers here. They don't tell you anything about these. They just said they're transparent cones. They don't tell you what type of cellulose this is made with. Clearly, clearly it's a cellulose paper. Uh, they don't tell you the ingredients of what is inside of it. The cone tip right here is, you know, a standard ripoff of raw cone tips with the wigwag little fold there. And then the little design we have on there are little mint leaves. Let's check those out. There's some mint leaves right there. Nothing too, nothing too fancy on these. Now, you can see a spiralization of the paper and how it was actually folded right there. Um... As we spin it, you'll see a line. I don't know if you can see that. See that line right there? Roll into the paper. So that's the roll line. So instead of rolling it vertical, top to bottom, like most other cone companies do, this one was rolled in a spiralized fashion, which is very interesting as well. Um, me personally, I didn't like this uh, transparent cone. Uh, I like the more paper cones. It did happen to have that nice vacuum seal that most of these transparent papers do tend to have, where basically the first few puffs basically seals like a cylindrical um, plant material mass, and this thing kind of shrinks wraps all around it, which is pretty neat. Uh, but other than that, I didn't really particularly like it. It just smoked like a normal particular paper, and it kind of made me a little weary not knowing what this exactly is made with. Um, the ingredients, the craft style of how this was even made it's a little irking to me that they don't even include that type of information on the packaging um, but they did all this other stuff to work on their brand except for actually tell you exactly how their papers are actually made so again the honey puff they're the same company that ripped off the empire rolling papers and tried to rebrand it as their own um keep that in mind when you go out and you buy stuff and you see the honey puff logo or the honey puff brand just know that they definitely are, have a, now have a track record of ripping off other brands and claiming them as their own. So, personally, I would avoid the Honey Puff transparent cones, but if you happen to see them out and about, um, just try to find a different alternative versus going with these. Because, personally, I couldn't recommend these to anybody, especially the fact with the, uh, the ethical problems that the company actually has. It makes you wonder what they put into their production as well, how honest they're being with the consumer and the person that they're trying to market their products to. So be on the lookout for anything but these Honey Puff cones. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more content like this, subscribe for more. I do smoking reviews every single day. So be on the lookout for that and have a great rest of your day.